In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at two different situations where you can apply the stuff which I talked about in the last video to um, identify some unknown halogens and halides. Okay, so in this first situation, you add an unknown halogen solution to solutions of KBr and KCl. A color change occurs with KBr, but not with KCl. Identify the halogen present in the unknown solution. Now, with the three different halogens I mentioned in the last video, iodine, bromine, and um, chlorine. Why am I saying bromine? Bromine, bromine. Anyway, uh, KBr, what things are going to displace KBr? Let's just use like the process of elimination for this. So you've got KBr, and it got displaced. The thing that is going to displace KBr is Cl2. We're not going to talk about fluorine in this particular. I won't talk about fluorine in this video. Uh, so K, K, Cl2 would displace KBr. Um, what would displace KCl? I mean, why, why, what would displace KBr and not KCl? Well, Cl2 again. So from these two pieces of evidence, which both point towards a specific halogen, we can see that the um, Cl2 is the thing that's, that's um, Cl2 is the halogen which is present in the unknown solution. So we can say for this question, it's um, chlorine is present. So yeah, and uh, let's move on to the next situation. Okay, so what I have here is a second situation and in this situation you add bromine to an unknown solution of halide ions and an organic solvent layer is added so a displacement re um, reaction has probably occurred and, and the solvent layer turns violet so that means that in some sort of organic um, I mean some sort of halogen has dissolved in that solvent to turn it that color and I didn't talk about the solvent layer in my previous video so might as well just talk about it a little bit now and what the solvent layer is is um, if you have your solution it's probably going to be water and then you have the aqueous halogens inside and the halide ions so let me just draw that out like this so you have your water in your in your um, well beaker in this case and when you add the organic solvent now you probably remember from the previous videos that I made that um, water is polar. It has um, has slight charges on it. And because of the fact that it's polar and organic solvents are non-polar, what's going to happen is the organic solvent is not going to dissolve in the water. And what it's going to do is, gonna, is it's going to form a layer above, above the water. So it's going to form a layer up here. And I'll do, use a light gray color so that because it's usually kind of transparent. It's colorless. So yeah, this is the this is the solvent. The solvent or the organic solvent. And since the organic solvent forms a distinct layer which is separate from the actual solution which contains water, we say that this part up here, this whole part, is the solvent layer. Solvent layer. So that's what the solvent layer is. So anyway, moving on to this situation we have, uh, going back into it. So the solvent layer turns violet after you add bromine to it. So we need to ask the question, what uh, halide ions would become halogens if we added bromine to it? So, um, and if we look at the periodic table up here, uh, iodine is below bromine. And so iodine Iodine is probably the, the 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 iodine was probably present in that solution because iodine is what gets gets displaced by bromine since bromine is a more powerful oxidizing oxidizing agent. So the halide ions are probably iodide ions, iodide ions. And now the second part says write an equation for the displacement reaction that occurs. Now it doesn't ask for a um, full equation and we don't know what the halide ions were maybe combined with or anything so I'm just going to write out an ionic equation for what happens since it says halide ions 
So the reaction which would occur would we would have Br we would have Br two, Br two, and that would react with the halide ions. So that would be two I minus, and this would form the iodine. So that would form the I two, and this is what dissolves in that solvent layer. So the question did say it, for, it turns violet. So let me just color this in violet a little bit, pinkish violet, maybe a little bit more purple. So yeah, this is the solvent layer which is done by it. Anyway, back to filling out this equation. Uh, and we would have the bromide ions since they that's what's formed. They've gained an electron, Br minus. And we'd have two of these so that the equation is balanced. And not to forget that we would have... Uh, actually, I, I, I won't write the state symbols on here. So this would be the equation. Br2 plus 2i minus forms I2 plus 2Br minus. And yeah, so these are the two situations I just wanted to go over in this video. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video.